You know, wavetables are cool and all, but what if there was... more? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrap Man, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back in the Piston Playground. If this is your first time in the Piston Playground with me, then you're definitely going to want to check out the playlist where you can see what all of these different experiments are and more. But today, we are going to be revisiting one of the first parts of the Piston... the pit... 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 uh, the wave table here is one of the more popular ones that I've made, one of my personal favorites. So I decided, wouldn't it be cool if we actually use this not just by itself, but try to see what we can do with multiple ones together? Hopefully it's not gonna lag too much, but there's a couple of ideas that I have and different ways to kind of use this, and we're gonna see what kind of cool, trippy visual effects we can get with this. Some of these ideas are actually inspired by comments you guys left like months ago on uh, on the video where I showcased this at first, but I just love the way this thing looks. I always have it running in here. It's always just on. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to load up a couple of the saved things and we're gonna see what we can do with this thing. All right, so I get one spawned in over here. And one thing I just thought of as I just spawned this in that I wanna try, I'm actually going to flip this thing upside down. Hopefully I can just... Well, that's not good. All right, we're back. Uh, I guess I'll try that again. We're gonna see if we could just flip this thing over the switch. Okay, it's working now. I have no idea what caused that to happen before. That was a little weird. It's not flipping now. Come on, flip over. There we, ooh, that is a little bit more laggy. So I just wanted to see what happens if I turn it on when it's upside down. Figured that'd be kind of fun. Where, I don't even remember where the button is. There it is. All right, ready for this? Here we go, three, two, one, press. That's actually kind of cool. Interesting. It doesn't appear to be moving though. I was wondering if it was gonna move kind of like a, like a worm. But I guess it makes sense that it wouldn't, because nothing's actually, nothing's actually pushing horizontally. Everything's just a vertical push. However, we could move things if we put it on, like we were doing. And the first- oh, I'm in an ocean. Oh, I love these wave tables. But if I just, uh, it's actually kind of hard while I'm- Oh, it's pushing me! Did you see that? It pushed- it totally pushed me. Did you not just- did, did that just- There we go. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. It's pushing me. I lose momentum, though. All right, now let's delete that and see if it push it- oh, oh, nope, delete that. There we go. Now it should push it down. Yep, there we go, and it pushed it off. <coughs> All right, well, that was kind of cool. What happens if I put something underneath it? And there. Oh, that's kind of cool. And if I delete that, ah, I did. That's interesting. This is really weird. What if I put my lift under it? All right, I kind of want to try that with a round object. All right, so now what's it gonna do? Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh. Oh, we can fix that. Get in there. Get in there. Nope, get, get it. Okay, all right. Well, that's kind of interesting. It pushes it out. All right, so now let's, um, <laughs> let's spawn in another one of these and we'll see what we can do with both of them. Let's just turn this one off for now. Actually, this might be cool to see how it turns off. Ready and off. Alrighty, so we're definitely gonna need our weld tool. And since this is the bottom, let's go ahead and take this, and I'm gonna do a vertical one. Uh, I guess, like, uh, is this the right way? Yeah, perfect, ooh. All right, where's the switch? There's a the switch. Go ahead and put that on. Alrighty. All right, so they go that long. What I'm gonna, what I'm gonna have is another one on the opposite side. I'm gonna try to have them meet exactly in the middle so they make like this kind of, I'm hoping it's gonna look kind of like that. I don't know what it's gonna look like. 
Well, I kind of do, but I, I don't know. I hope I hope it works that way. All right, so this button should play them both at the same time. And, oh, I think I just, no, 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 they should, they should both start at the bottom. I thought one was gonna start at the top and one at the bottom, but I think this is working correctly. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, hit. Apparently I did something wrong. All right, I think I fixed it. I had, I had wired something in the opposite direction. It should have been wired, but now it should work. Ready? Three, two, one, hit. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. It's like a double helix almost. Here, let me look at it from the other side. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is great. I kind of want to move it one block closer, just so that they touch in the middle. That sounded weird. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We're gonna move it one, one closer. All right, here we go. Now they should actually touch in the middle. I'm actually gonna press this button and run through as fast as I can. Huh. Made it. Cause I think this side looks better cause it's nice and bright. There we go. Whoa, whoa, it's just, I don't know if you guys saw what I just saw, but it looks like they're going through each other. So rather than going like this, to me it almost looks like it creates the illusion that they're going like this, like, in between, like actually through. That's really cool. So look at the middle right here. Just stare at the middle really quick. Not really quick, stare at the middle constantly. And then the bottom section down here, it looks like in your peripherals, it looks like it actually crosses through each other rather than bouncing away from each other. It's kind of like a cool visual illusion. Oh, this thing is, this thing is really fun to look at. Okay, so now what I wanna do is program them so that they go in line with, in sync with each other rather than opposite each other. They're both going towards each other. I want them instead to go with each other rather than against each other. So that's gonna involve me changing, I think, I just have to add a starting delay, I think. All right, so I did it. It was actually pretty simple. All I had to do was delay one of them by the same amount of time one piston takes to expand or extend. So I think I hooked this button up right, so we should be able to use either of these buttons. All right, here we go in three, two, one, huh. Whoops, it'd help if I hooked the button up to both of these. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one, huh. And that one should happen. Yes, it's working. It's working. Oh, it's totally working. That right there. That is cool. I wonder... I should be able to climb this. I think this will actually work as like a moving staircase. So if I time this, actually it's gonna move me back and forth, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's actually try to climb this now. Let's see if I can do this. Alright, so when it comes back at me, I should be able to just walk. Oh, nope, it's not working. This is actually di different than I thought it was going to be. Come on, come, jump, jump. There we go. Now up, 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 up. Oh, why isn't that working? I thought that would totally work. No. Hey, what if I turn one of these off? There, you turn off. Okay, now without that one interrupting me, I should be able to... Why does it let me walk up? Shouldn't I just be able to walk up that? I thought I would be able to. Come on, I'm kind of doing it. I'm doing it. We're getting up, we're do I have to jump apparently. All right, we did it. We just climbed up a, that's actually a really cool mechanism. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's a way I could actually use this intentionally as like kind of like a wavy staircase. But it's it's unfortunate that I can't just walk up it, like just just holding forward. I actually have to jump. Now let's see if we can go. Oh nope, going down is a little bit different. 
All right, what happens if I just hook this thing up at a random time? Yeah, there we go. Now it's like off time, so they aren't actually in sync with each other. So I wonder what kind of shape this is going to make. Huh. It's it's almost like... It like almost looks satisfying, but then it like ruins it. It's like one of those annoying things that you see on the internet where it's like it's about to satisfy you and then just something bad happens and it just ruins your day. All right, let's uh, let's just turn them both off. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of the timer because I think I like it better when they go at the same time rather than um, opposite times. Yeah, I definitely like this one better. All right, so I'll just leave that there, and I have at least one more idea that I want to try with these. I want to create... Uh, actually, I don't know how that's going to work. I want to kind of do the same idea, but I want this to be ceiling and floor of a room. And I was hoping the walls too, but now that I think about it, the walls might not make as much sense. So I don't know exactly if that'll work or not. But we're gonna try it. I'm just gonna create. Uh, I'm just gonna create a room with these. We're gonna do that over here. I hope spawning too many of these in this world isn't gonna ruin anything. You know what? I should probably save this world now that I think about it. All right. I get the feeling now that I spawned that one in, even though it's still on a lift, I'm only getting like 30 frames right now, and I think that's lower than what I should be getting in this world. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. <coughs> I'm allergic to to low frames, and uh, I'm gonna delete this as well. Ah, there we go. Now we're back at 100 frames, so that was definitely the culprit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna- I'm gonna put this on a floor as well. I might as well just use the same area. We might actually create an entire room here. Alright, so I've got the ceiling and the floor, so now I should be able to fit in here, I hope. Alright, just- if I crouch, I can. Alright, so this is actually- I think it might be better to have these in sync rather than off sync with each other as far as like the waveform goes. So I'm going to add a timer to the top one here. Alright, so this should work. Yeah, there we go. So now if I go in here, it should look like... Yeah. It should look like a one single wave. Oh, oh, that is kind of disorienting. Oh, that is really weird. Let me go to the end. Whoa, so when I go down and then I see like the other wall, it's almost like the other wall is staying still because I'm moving down at the same rate as it. It's really disorienting. This is really cool. So now I'm wondering if I can make walls that meet up with this. How far away do I have to weld that point though? All right, people, this took a little bit of interesting measuring and stuff, but uh, I think it's going to be too laggy. I think we're going to lose some frames. I did some experimenting with just one wall, and as soon as that thing gets close to the other ones, the, the ceiling and the floor, I, I lose a lot of frames. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do the other wall anyway and see what happens, make a live reaction to it. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work. But I'm assuming we're gonna get like no frames. You know, I'm gonna back up the world before I do this because this might crash the world. I don't know what I don't know what to expect. Leave your predictions. What do you think is gonna happen? Just low frames? Is it gonna work okay? Is it gonna look cool? Are we gonna crash the game? Are we gonna freeze the game? I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, so I have it so that the ceiling and the floor are synced with each other as well as each wall is synced with each other. So not only is it gonna be going up and down like this, but it's also gonna be going side to side like this at the same time. And I'm sure we're gonna just ruin it with all our frame leg. But uh, let's see what happens. Here we go in three, two, one, hit. Oh, there goes our frames. And there goes the other- hey, actually, the two walls isn't actually nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be compared to the one wall. Let's go in and see what we see. We're going to go to the end over here, and then we're just going to look back. All right, here it is. Oh, this is actually really cool. It's like a wave machine. I mean, that's literally what it is. It's a wave machine. It's a machine filled with waves. You know what this needs? This needs one thing. This needs lights. Let's put some lights in here. Let's actually block it out a little bit. We're going to create like a wave chamber. We're going to create, we're going to close it in completely. Oh yeah, here we go. We're going to make a wave room. We're going to close this entire thing in and uh, then we're going to light it up with some colors and see how it looks from that perspective.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? I think this is gonna be even more laggy because I forgot that dynamic lighting actually has a decent amount of lag to it when you put as much as I put in here. I put like all the primary colors and other colors and I, I just put a bunch of colors really. Um, so I'm gonna close myself in here and I think that switch should also turn everything on. So let's just turn this to black. Let's paint that black as well. All right, are you guys ready for this? These walls are gonna go crazy, the frames are probably gonna go crazy, and your eyes are probably gonna go crazy. This is the big finale, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Oh, this is so weird. It's so much brightness coming at me right now. I think it's too bright. It's like, this is too bright. I shouldn't have put them all on 20. Why did I put them all on 20? There's is actually, there's one more finale actually, I think, that I might want to try after I saw the start to this. I actually want to try having them all start at the same time. So that they all come in at the same time and expel- Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Let's do that right now actually. This is less interesting to me. Okay, all right, I gotta turn it off though. Turn it off. There we go. Okay, so I deleted the timers, so they all should start at the same time, and I also changed the intensity of the lights, so it's a little bit less extreme in here, so we should be able to see a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Now they should all start at the same time. Big finale in three, two, one. Huh. There it is. There it is. That is what I was looking for. This is kind of intimidating, actually. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, well, how is this for a screensaver, huh? So, let me know which one was your favorite. I like, this one definitely took the most work for sure, and actually, it's it's growing on me as it goes. So, I'm, I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, for the end of the for the end of the video as I do my outro here so you can get mesmerized by this But uh, I think my real favorite was probably the helix thing because it created that optical illusion where it looked like they were crossing through each other But I want to know which one of these was your favorite uh, I'm going to leave a poll so you can actually click on the poll right there And if you click the little eye icon you can actually see links to other videos and stuff that you might want to see as well Make sure you check the description of this video for links to other cool stuff regarding the channel and if you want to interact with me and the channel a little bit more, uh, feel free to join my Discord. Leave a like if you liked the video and comment down below letting me know what you thought of this and leave suggestions for future Piston Playground ideas. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff with Pistons so I'm kind of running low on ideas now but this was definitely a good idea. Well, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.